वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ द जेनेटिक्स ऑफ बैक्टेरिया लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिस्कवरी ऑफ कॉन्जुगेशन प्रोसेस बाय एक्सप्लेनिंग द लीडरबर्ग एंड टाटम एक्सपेरिमेंट विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द डेविस यूट्यूब एक्सपेरिमेंट सो लेट्स बिगिन द टॉपिक बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ डिस्कवरी ऑफ कॉन्जुगेशन प्रोसेस इन इकोलाय वी मस्ट नो वाट इज कॉन्जुगेशन so conjugation is a process in which there is a unidirectional transfer of genetic information through direct cellular contact via sex pili or sex pilus between a donor bacterial cell and a recipient bacterial cell the contact is followed by the formation of a physical bridge which is known as the conjugation tube that connects or joins the donor and the recipient bacterial cell then a segment or rarely all of the donor's chromosome may be transferred into the recipient cell and may undergo genetic recombination with a homologous chromosome segment of that cell recipients that have incorporated a piece of donor dna into their chromosome are called transconjugants conjugation was discovered in the year 1946 by joshua lederberg and edward tatum this is the experimental procedure followed by lederberg and tatum in their experiment there are two different bacterial strains a and b and these two strains are oxotrophs or nutritional mutants for some nutrients the strain a cannot synthesize methionine and biotin whereas the strain b cannot synthesize the threonine leucine and thiamine cells from both strains were first mixed and the mixture was plated on the agar plate and it was observed that few colonies were grown in the minimal medium that means they have con converted into the prototroph bacteria it indicates that they could now make the essential constituents by their own these colonies are the recombinants produced by an exchange of genetic material between the strain a and strain b now the question arises that whether or not physical contact is required for the bacterial gene transfer or conjugation to answer that bernard davis performed the u tube or popularly known as the davis tube experiment bacteria with different genotypes are placed in opposite arms of this u shaped culture tubes the two arms are separated by a glass filter that has spores large enough to allow the dna molecules and viruses but not the bacteria to pass through it that means it will not allow the physical contact between these two different uh, bacteria of different strains the medium was moved between the components by altering alternating suction and pressure and then the cells were plated on minimal medium to check for the appearance of prototrophic colonies no prototrophic colonies appeared in this experiment leading to the conclusion that cell to cell contact was required for the genetic exchange to occur these experiments indicated that e coli has the type of mating system which is called conjugation that require direct physical contact so this is all about for this video lecture thank you for watching